When enemies are locked down by crowd control, they can't move, so they just stand in your ulti and die. <laughs> so if you make your ulti as strong as possible, with all the armor penetration here, profit. This flowchart tells you which misfortune build is the best for each matchup. Don't really see a point in fake leashing. I'd rather get my lane priority right away. Alright, so against Twitch Morgana, obviously in the late game Twitch with a black shield is gonna slay, but if we just keep him small in the mid and early game, then we should be fine. Anyway, hello for the misfortune, it's over on YouTube as well. Currently live streaming on Twitch. Link in the description, so join. It's an awesome stream, I think, I hope. <laughs> and yeah, we're about to hit level 2. Nautil is already landing a good grab. Okay, Twitch wasn't close enough. But yeah, we max E for maximum impact with the ER combo. And we're going Umbra Glaive first item to deny all their vision, get our zombie wards, have a lot of utility. So yeah, you're useful beyond just your ulti, of course. It's important to always have you know, a backup plan if you don't get fed. And being on the vision control squad is definitely a good backup plan, if you ask me. <clears throat> the position of the wave is a little bit awkward because we're easily gankable and we don't have vision in the river. I could ward it though. Where Nautilus goes, I'm not sure what he's doing. Okay. Good to know. Nice. Get so much damage on them here. It's crazy. Yeah, it was a good one for sure. And the wave's also in our favor. Because more blue minions died than red minions. And I mean, my colors, obviously. We are playing red team, technically. But the colors just match your team, so. You know. Wave's coming towards us. Minions they can farm die. Good for us. Stay healthy. Okay. Let me get most of the minions. Ten CS lead. Now I'm completely out of mana though. Gotta be careful. But yeah, we don't want to base first for sure if you're not forced to buy health disadvantage. Because basing first equals forfeiting farm equals losing your advantage. Okay, he's probably dead. Where is he? He has a shield, right? Yeah. Alright, Nautilus being forced back is a little bit of an issue, but... I definitely want this experience. And this Dark Harvest stack. Okay, if he jumps over, I need to bail immediately. Because I am a little bit diveable. If I mess up here. They're probably base. I don't have the mana to push out the wave completely, but some... 
I still want to clear this one. Awkward attack speed. Ah, oh, I hate it. Okay, maybe we can clear one more. I don't have mana though, so all I can do is push with my long sword auto attacks. So Twitch might be sneaking up in stealth, but with this huge wave, he can't risk it. Okay, we see him. And he has to farm, so yeah, we have time to base. Can get some components now. And get our mana back, most importantly. Yeah, looking good. We could go for a refillable potion. Yeah. Morgana has a little bit of poke damage. And we are not getting lifesteal first because we want to complete Umber Glaive, so... That refillable will probably pay its... Or we probably get the value we need, or we pay for. They might be on Dragon. They were on Dragon. Now they're pushing the tower. Hmm, all right. Sure. It's one for one in a three-man dive, so... Could be worse. We did not get value from that refillable. <laughs> oh well. I, I like my long swords. I want my AD. But yeah, we have our Umbuk Glaive now, so we can start denying vision. I think I'm about to sneeze. I'm not sure yet. Maybe. Maybe I am. Being allergic to pollen is such a huge IRL debuff. Not as huge as something else or some other things, probably, but... It's still annoying. <laughs> Definitely. Okay, no wards here. Maybe this is ward and tribush. Okay, no. Nothing there. Crazy. They're completely blind right now. But I'm also not too well warded here. Ulti in 15. Morgana missing. Okay, that's Twitch. There's Morgana. Bro. Oh, they got me there. Nautilus might have this though. Depends. Yeah, if they can flash out. I mean, Twitch flashed for this, so. It's not like it was terrible. Let me trade one for one, but I mean. Obviously, Twitch getting a kill and me not getting. I think Nautilus got that kill, right? Oh, he's going ham. He's dying to the puddle. Okay, he isn't. Wow, crazy. Well played. But yeah, I mean, <laughs> he locked him down with his passive, but then Twitch immediately flash, uh, flashed out of it, so we couldn't quite ult him there. Obviously my big mistake was not dodging the Morgana binding. Okay, so we get ulti in 30 seconds. Morgana probably on her way. And Twitch is sneaking up in stealth. Wow. I didn't E into the bush properly, so I lost vision, which cancelled one auto attack, which 
meant I failed a kill here. Uh, I shouldn't have risked it in the first place. I didn't have my ulti quite yet, so... There we go. That's oh, such a big blunder. <clears throat> At least he's too weak to help them, so he has to base. And I still get half of this wave, I guess. Wow. Had I aimed a little better, that was a double kill. I left a small pocket of air right there with my ulti. That's so unlucky. Well, not unlucky. I mean, I could have just played better, but you know what I mean. Not like anyone was rolling a dice there, but still unfortunate situation. Oh well, even if we're a little behind, it's not too bad with this build, because you're still useful with maxed E and with... um. Your ulti, it's always great damage. As long as you hit three items, no one can ignore you. Your damage is always relevant. And we have the vision control and the utility from E. So we can afford to make some mistakes. We won't be useless. Luckily, my team is very far ahead. I have to bail. I can't. I have nothing. He has Kraken Slayer. Let's see, maybe I can kill them if they get careless here. Chances are. I know how these people play. I'll take the trade. I get the entire wave too, so it's worth. Kill plus wave. Yeah. Protecting the tower too. I mean, Twitch getting kills is not optimal by any means, but this was still okay overall. Yeah, the team's getting stuff done here and here. Well, not top lane maybe, but you know. We still have numbers advantage in other parts of the map, that's what I mean. <clears throat> Would be so cool if, if um, no, Eclipse, if Umberglaive triggered when a stealth champion is nearby. <laughs> That'd be very cool. But unfortunately, it's not how it works. It's not the good old elixir of or oracle elixir or elixir of the oracle. I'm, I'm not sure what was it called. You know, you probably remember if you're an old school player. The oracle elixir. Ulti and ten. I still have ulti, we can definitely do stuff. Oh, okay, no. Yoni also has ulti. Hm. Yeah, okay, the Yoni flag was too much. I thought it was just Twitch. Why do people want to surrender?
We're still doing good enough. But you already know what we do with tilted lobbies. <laughs> it's not worth the hassle. And our late game is arguably even stronger than theirs with Karthus and with one shot misfortune. Okay, that's not what I like to hear, but I mean, what can you do? <clears throat> All right, let's look for an opening with ulti. That's too fishy. Can't see them in time. Yeah, don't want to get caught. Hmm, this could be dragon for them now. Unless we ignore Herald, which is definitely not the play. So yeah, they get a huge head start on Dragon. And it's just gone. Huge. to run. Probably still dead here. Yeah. I was overextended. Oh, rough game. Very rough game. Still doable, but it's getting harder because my team is so tilted. Hmm. Guess we just always save for Lord Doms. Getting other items would feel good right now, but we need that three item power spike, so our damage is guaranteed relevant. I won't even wait for the cloak because cloak is just so bad. I'd rather be guaranteed to get my last whisper upgrade the next time around. He does not have Gale Force, so he is ultable. Okay, there he is. He lives, though. Need more damage. Yeah, as soon as I get that Lord Doms, we can one shot like that. Arthur's dead though. An enemy is hmm. Yeah, Yoni has a problem. Legendary, 11 kills, level 15.
<clears throat> Alright, just the last Whisper component by itself. Quite strong. Maybe I can kill Cassiopeia. If she disrespects me, she will die for it. As I've said. Yeah, Baron's there, so we can't prevent that when our jungler just died. But I got the Cassiopeia here, which feels good for sure. I guess I can't take one more wave, else my team just dies. It's too risky as well. Since they will go for Dragon now. <clears throat> the good thing is I can still one-shot Twitch whenever he makes a mistake. The Yone is by far the bigger problem. Almost missed the cannon menu for no reason other than being, I don't know, lazy and impatient. <laughs> I have to get the start doms. It's mandatory to have for this next fight. Okay, let's just take the dragon right away so there's not even a contest. So. Oh no, why are they fighting? I'm not there. I mean, if it works, it works, but chances are Twitch turns this around. Okay. Looks like they just got a pick. But it also looked kind of scary. Okay, good enough. And yeah, this three item power spike is one of the strongest in the entire game. I'm not afraid to use it. Uh, if only my team didn't die. Difficult. <laughs> oh well, next I need my Edge of Night to stay a little bit safer. The spell shield will go a long way. Nautilus, of course, cannot defend this by himself. It's not how it works. He doesn't have damage or anything. None of them has a shield bow or something like that, so we don't need serpents, I guess. in here. I really like this utility from Zombie Ward's Umberglaive. So useful. Could have worked. Oh yeah, you see, the damage is absurd. The OG mathematically correct build. Okay, there we go.
Sometimes all it takes is just a tiny Lord Dom's power spike. And then you start carrying. Twitch is alive. Almost. Gotta be careful. Bros. Please. Don't get twitched here. Okay. I am big now. The C Twitch. Alright, my team's not getting assassinated. <clears throat> so I'm fairly confident. Oh no. Yeah, can't cut them all though. But I did enough damage for my team to clean up. Nice. Whew. That's more like it. As I said, this build scales. All you buy is damage. So at a certain point, you reach a critical... It's a 3 item power spike, you reach that critical mass of armor penetration where you just one-shot anyone. Just Q auto or ER. <clears throat> you see the power. Plus the utility from Umbral Glaive, Zombie Ward and Make It Rain. Yeah, next up we get Ghostblade for... You know, a Boots substitute. You don't you can't afford to waste money on boots with a build like this, so um ghost blade's the next best thing you can buy. Okay, I was worried they were coming for me. But they're on Baron. Not the best ulti ever. It's not just about the ulti, it's also about all the other stuff. We still almost clean ace them. Yoni is not gonna live this, so it's probably a clean ace. He's still in one shot range. I need to not get one shot by him too. Okay, he gets me. Unlucky. I need my Bloodthirster. For sure. Yeah, I shouldn't have overcommitted there. I should have let an ally engage and then follow up. Yone's damage is too high with four items. <sighs> yeah, slight mistake. Happens though. It's not like, I mean, Yone can only get one more item. Giving, and he's level 18. Giving him my shutdown goal is actually okay. It's better than giving it to someone who can still buy more impactful items with it. It's full build now anyway, after this base. <clears throat> and we got to delete all their Baron buffs. Oh no. Team, you cannot fight without me. <laughs> it's not how it works, please. Just getting that extra Vamp Scepter already goes a long way, basically doubling my lifesteal. So just take this and go base. And no, I'm not standing on a ward, thanks to Umbra Glaive. Don't 
don't fight without me. Oh, do fight without me. By all means, if you can kill Twitch, go ahead. The minion waves are just not in position. But yeah, getting that butt thrust, that would just be cherry on top. We already have all the items we need. We need to bait out Yone's ulti. Then ult him right back. Still have half a minute. Maybe we can finish if we tank it cleverly. Yeah. So, as you see, this build does scale, even without crits. Or, well, the Lord Doms has crit, but you know what I mean. So, most damage, even more than the fed Twitch and the fed Yone, and the fed Karthus. <laughs> Crazy. 3.4k Dark Harvest. Yeah, this build, in the right matchup, if you have proper support for it, it just slaps. But, you don't always have a tank support or an all-in support by your side. So, if you want to see what you need to do when you have a poke support by your side, then click the link on your screen right there. A big thank you to all my Patreons and channel members. If you want to become a Patreon yourself, just go to patreon.com slash mfdb. But if you rather save your money, you can support me for free by clicking the like and the subscribe button.